Hi everyone! This is Sydney and Richard. I'm Sydney. And I'm Richard. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Um, we are bringing beer reviews to you. To you. Right to your home right or to... your bus or wherever you're watching this. Wherever you're watching this. <laughs> no judgments. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today we have a beer for you. Um, this is... Fat Scotch Ale by Silver City Brewery. Um, nice big bottle. It's a cool logo. I like the lion on it. It ah. kind of looks like Gryffindor for all those Harry Potter people. Sure. Or um, like heraldry. Sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Richard, um, hit me up with some knowledge about Silver City. Oh, I will hit you up with some knowledge. So, Silver City um, originally was a brew pub on um, Kitsap Peninsula in Washington State. Oh, it's a local beer. It's local, oh. yeah. This is very local. Um, they had a brew pub since 1996, so 21 years at this point. Um, but it used to just be at that actual restaurant location. Now, it's only in the last six or seven years that they've started expanding production and really like getting their bottles out in stores and now I feel like they're pretty common you see it pretty often in different uh, um, supermarkets and things like that at least in the Seattle area at least in We're the in Seattle. yeah at least in the Seattle area um, so this is a scotch ale which is also known as we heavy obviously it's a style that started in Scotland um, and this is a very uh, malt heavy style so it's going to be very low hot very low yeast character it's just all about the malt so it's going to be heavy mm. it's going to be rich uh, it's high alcohol this one is um 9.2 percent i've actually uh heard that this style is a little sweeter because it was meant to be paired with scotch whiskey oh so yeah Ooh. should we get into it yeah i'm really excited um, and Richard seems to think I'll enjoy this one, so. Yeah. I think it's up her alley. Ah, yeah. Okay, you can go first. Okay. So yeah, pretty dark. Ooh. Very dark brown. That is a sexy looking beer. Got a pretty light head. It's dissipating quickly. Yeah. There's like no head. But yeah, it's actually not quite as dark as it looks on camera. It's not pitch black, but it's a very dark brown. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. Chocolatey. That chocolatey malty thing you're mm -hmm. describing for show. Yeah. I feel like it does have a little bit of a yeasty smell to it. But in a good way. I mean, it's very good smelling. Yeah, it smells great. All right, should we drink? Yep. Cheers. Mmm. That's good. Definitely sweet. Got a good amount of body to it. Not yeah. super heavy, but it's present. I like beers with body. <laughs> and um, uh, this one's kind of middle range. Like... On the lower end of heavy, mm -hmm. but it, it has body. It almost tastes a little fruity to me. Yeah, it does. It, what it's is that? like a barley wine almost. Very light barley wine. Yeah, kind of. It kind of does. It kind of does taste like it's, a soft barley wine. Yeah, barley wine esque. Like a barley wine and a stout had a baby. Yes, I think that works. Yeah, it definitely has like some of that dried fruit, dark yeah. fruit kind of yeah. feel to it. Dried fruit, maybe like a raisin or something, plus yeah. the malt. Kind of pruney. Yeah, for show. Sure. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Pretty decent carbonation. Mm -hmm. um, not super carbonated, but it doesn't feel flat pretty clean aftertaste not definitely no like residual bitterness or if things. anything it's th it's the weight and the body of the beer that i feel on my tongue mm -hmm. 
like that syrupy malt. Yeah. Like texture, but I'm not having this like taste that's gonna like destroy my palate or yeah. anything else. I like it. What would you give it on a scale of one to five? I would give this three and a half. Really good. I like it. I would definitely drink it again. Um, Have you had this one before? No, I haven't oh, had okay. this one before. If you see this at a store, I recommend it. Yeah. You should try it. Mm -hmm. If you're especially trying to like maybe get into dark beers or like experiment with that, this is a good one to start with. Mm -hmm. um, I was also going to give it maybe a, a three. I was trying to debate between 3.5 and a four. Um, I think I'll go 3.5 as well. Um, it's a solid dark beer. Um, and mm -hmm. as a dark beer lover, I really like it. Yeah. Um, it's like, I could, I will definitely, if I'm craving a dark beer and I'm at the grocery store, I would definitely get that again. Yeah. Totally awesome. And I don't know if this would be at every grocery store, but if you're in Washington state, I don't think this should be too hard to find. I got this at the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. I think you got it at QFC, right? Yeah. I got it at QFC. Great. Um, I give this total thumbs up. Solid beer. Yeah. Thumbs up for sure. On a um, scale of one to five, I think it's a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So that's what we have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Um, let us know if there's something that you think we would enjoy and that we should try. We're always looking for something new. Suggestions always welcome. Always. <laughs> um, so like, subscribe, comment. Um, check out our blog. Check out our Instagram. Uh, there will be links below. Uh huh. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again on next Thirsty Thursday. Yeah. So. Until next pour. Until next pour.